The default Blender file is divided up into four main editors, but for now let's just focus on the big one right in the middle, the 3D view. As you can imagine, this is where we're going to do the majority of our 3D work, from modeling to animation. In order to do any of that though, we have to learn how to navigate it, because navigating in 3D space is going to be a lot different than navigating in 2D, if that's the only thing you're used to so far. The first and most obvious way to navigate is to use the gizmos here at the top right of the 3D view. If you click and drag on the magnifier icon, I'll just left click, hold down, and then I'll move my mouse up or down, I can zoom in or zoom out. If I move my mouse down to the hand icon, left click and drag around, then you can see I can shift my view around. The button underneath that allows us to toggle our camera view on or off, so I can either look through the camera or click through it again to just go back to our normal viewport, so we won't really worry about that so far. And then the grid underneath that also just toggles between perspective and what's called orthographic view, which removes all perspective distortion. Again, that's not something we need to look at just yet, so I'll leave that off. But for now, just click and drag to zoom in and out on the magnifier icon, and then click and drag on the hand to pan around. After you've done that a bit, then we can practice orbiting the viewport by clicking and dragging on this gizmo here, any part that's in the white area. Just click and drag. And now we can rotate around in 3D space. If this is your first time looking around in 3D space, then this is going to be super fun. We can also click any one of these axes to jump to any particular view. So if we click on the Y axis here, we can jump to front view. If we click on the X, then we can switch to side view. And for top view, we can hit the Z or the negative Z, either one. So just practice clicking on these axes here, and then clicking and dragging on the white area to orbit around. Of course, bringing our mouse up and to the right and clicking on these buttons would be a pretty tedious way to navigate the viewport all the time as we're working. So we can actually do this a lot faster using our mouse hotkeys. I would really recommend using a three button mouse with Blender. So it has a right click, a left click, and a middle mouse button that acts as the scroll wheel as well. And that's what I'm going to be using here. But if you don't have one of those mice, first of all, I'd really recommend that you order one. But if you can't for whatever reason, then don't worry, I'll show you how to navigate with a two button mouse as well, or with a tablet in just a second. But for now, for the people who have the three button mouse, what you can do to navigate is actually press and hold the middle mouse button, which is your scroll wheel, press that into the mouse, and then just move your mouse around to orbit the viewport. So again, press in on the middle mouse button and drag around and just get used to spinning around in 3D space here. Then in order to zoom in or out, as you might have guessed, just scroll up or scroll down on the mouse wheel. Lastly, in order to shift your view around, just hold the shift key while also pressing in on the mouse wheel and dragging your mouse around. So if you have a three button mouse, go ahead and practice all three of those commands now. Scrolling up and down to zoom in, middle mouse button and drag to orbit around, and middle mouse button and shift in order to shift the view around. Now, if you're off exploring 3D space, you might get a little bit lost in the viewport. Let's just say we were looking at the cube, but you navigated way over here off to the side. We just go way over here it might be a little bit challenging to go back and look at what you were looking at before. Well, a good hotkey to know, or a good menu entry to know, is how to go back to centering on the scene. To do that, we can always go to View and Frame All. That's going to jump us right back to all of our objects. You can also do that same thing with the Home key on the keyboard. So let's say we drag ourselves all the way down to the depths here. I can just hit the Home key, and that'll jump me right back. You might also get yourself into situations where you're completely upside down, because that's definitely possible as well. If you're not careful, maybe you flipped the whole scene around like this, and it might be a little bit difficult to orient yourself back into a regular perspective. So what you might want to do is just jump into front or side view by clicking on any one of these axes. If I click on the Y axis, that'll jump me into front view, and it'll also flip everything right side up. You can also get to front, back, or side view by going over to the view menu, and down to viewpoint. Here you can switch to the camera or away from the camera, or to top, bottom, front, back, right, or left view. You'll also notice that in Blender's menus, the hotkeys are always on the right of the menu, so in case you forget, you can always check there. In this case, you can see that we have number pad 7 for top, number pad 1 for front, and number pad 3 for the right view. And this is something that you'll probably also want to get used to as well. So go ahead and rotate around your viewport a little bit. And if you have a number pad on your keyboard, if you don't, I'll show you an alternative in just a second. But if you have a number pad, go ahead and hit one. That way you'll jump right to front view. That's exactly the same as just hitting the negative Y axis here. 
If you want to go to side view, go ahead and hit 3. That's the same as hitting the x-axis. And to go to top view, go ahead and hit 7. That'll be the same as hitting the z-axis over here on the gizmo. If you're working on a laptop or any keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, you can also use the tilde key, which is the squiggly line below the escape button, at least on US keyboards. Just hit that, and that'll open up a pie menu with those same options. So we can go to top view, right view, left view, bottom view, or any of these others. This is also a great place to view selected, and just zoom right to whatever object is selected. So if you'd like, go ahead and get used to using this menu as well. Hit the tilde key, and just jump to any one of these views. Now you can either hit the key and then press the button. Let's say I want to go to bottom view. I can just hover over this button and left click to select it. Or if I want to do this faster, I can just hit the tilde key and then swipe up really fast. Now I didn't do it quite fast enough, so it didn't jump to top view. But you can see if I do this really quickly, I can just jump between my views pretty fast. Okay, but I'm a little bit disoriented now, so I'm just going to hit 1 on my number pad to go back to what I know is front view, and keep going from there. Now, as promised, for those of you who do not have a 3-button mouse, or maybe you're using a pen and tablet with Blender, there's an option that you're going to want to enable so that you can navigate more easily. Let's go to Edit and Preferences. This option is found in the Input section, not Navigation for whatever reason, but under Mouse, you can click Emulate 3-button mouse, and that's going to change your hotkeys just a little bit. The regular hotkeys will still work, but now you can also use the Alt key and left click and drag to rotate around the view. If you hold Alt and Shift left click, then you're going to shift the view around. And if you hold Alt and Control, that's how you can zoom in and out. So you can do this really easily with just a one button mouse and your keyboard. So go ahead and practice the navigation method that makes the most sense to you. Or maybe try all of them if you want. For now, I'm going to turn off Emulate 3 Button Mouse just so I'm back to the defaults, and I'll click Save Preferences, which by the way is hidden uh, by default. If you turn off Auto Save Preferences, it'll give you a little button there, but that's a total side tangent. I'll go ahead and exit out of my preferences, and in the next video, things will really get interesting as we start selecting and manipulating our objects.